Today on the channel, it's the return of the Kyle Peterson Top 5 with my Top 5 Favorite Mattel Deep Cut Wrestling Figures. The Welcome everyone, Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel for another edition of the Kyle Peterson Top 5. A Thursday tradition here on the channel is every single Thursday we're counting down my top 5 favorite wrestlers, top favorite toy lines. Uh, whatever it could be, we're doing the top 5s and sometimes we're doing a top 10. And we are dangerously close to doing a top 10 for the 15,000 subscribers on YouTube, and we're looking at doing The Undertaker for that one, so stay tuned, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that fun stuff. But today on the channel, we're doing a crazy one. We're doing a deep cut top five list. We're looking at all of Mattel wrestling figures, top five deep cut, wacky, zany, off the wall figures that Mattel has released us. Yes, we've got a ton of John Cena's. We've got a ton of Randy Orton's, Undertaker's, Hulk Hogan's, you name it. We've got a lot of the usual suspects as far as wrestling heroes, wrestling stars, wrestling's biggest acts over the years. But Mattel has also thrown uh, the diehards, the diehards a bone every once in a while and gave us some off the wall, some zany characters from the past and even current characters that are really crazy and zany. And I figured today I would do my top five list of some of those gimmicks and some of the weird things, some of the one-off characters that we've got. And we count them down like we usually do from number five to number one. So hopefully you're going to enjoy this list. And as usual, get your list together. Put it in the comments down below. I guess it is all, everybody could say, hey, Hollywood Hulk Hogan's a zany character. I guess you could say that. But I think once you see my list, you'll understand my list a little bit more. Maybe help with your list as well. Maybe get the mind rolling. But some good deep cut figures over the years from Mattel. We're going to highlight my top five favorite of these. So without further ado, my top five zany, off-the-wall WWE Mattel figures so far. All right, we kick it off at number five in my top zany, crazy gimmicks, crazy figures from Mattel. And at number five comes from Battle Pack Series 38. If you guys were collecting back then, you know all about this figure, as it was a pretty good peg warmer for quite some time. But I really respected this one from the get-go, enjoyed it from the get-go. It was a day one pickup for me. What am I talking about? Well, from Battle Pack 38, Battle Pack being a two-pack, it was Adam Rose and... The Bunny, perfect for Easter right around the corner. Uh, not a better Easter figure to have than a big bunny. But how cool is this? How off the wall zany is this for Mattel to make this one? I know a lot of people groaned and moaned about it, but I still think it's pretty cool. Wrestling has always been about the big stars, the athleticism, all that kind of stuff. But it's also been about the crazy, zany, weird stuff, and that's where the bunny fits in. And for Mattel to take the time to tool a brand new figure for a one-off like this of the bunny, I always felt that was pretty cool. I love deep cut stuff like this, and this fits the bill. And it's a fully articulated bunny that you can use in your wrestling arena. Or you can use it for figure photography with a lot of other toys. This could be your Easter bunny in your toy setup. Uh, there's a lot to like about this one. I haven't looked at prices lately. It was fairly reasonable for a long time, but it's been a long time since this was on the store pegs. I could see this one climbing in value just because of the craziness of it all. And if you remember watching Adam Rose, nobody knew who the bunny was. He was turning against the bunny. Uh, not the greatest storytelling of all time, but we never really got a payoff to find out who was the bunny, actually. But it is what it is. It's the bunny. He comes in number five for me. Doesn't get crazier than this. It's a hairy bipedal creature, after all, in, in this aspect. He's standing up. He's on two feet. We'll count it. So number five for me, from Battle Pack Series 38, the bunny. All right, we're at the number four spot, and number four comes to us from the Mattel Elite line. The bunny, he was part of the basic line. This is part of the Elite line, and this is a collector's edition, collector's edition exclusive to Target, oh, about a year old, maybe less than a year old at this point, but it is the Zodiac from Mattel, WCW Zodiac, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, Ed Leslie, the man with no name, whatever you want to call him, but this is his Zodiac persona, part of the Dungeon of Doom. Hopefully we can continue building out that Dungeon of Doom. Mattel, get us a Kevin Sullivan, get us some more of those guys. Get us the Yeti. 
Give me the Yeti. Uh, but the Zodiac, very, very cool. And actually one of the harder to find collector's edition exclusives. A lot of them have peg worms, surprisingly enough. Zodiac never did. He was very, very hard to get, but very well worth it. As face paint, you guys know I'm a sucker for face paint. But Brutus Beefcake, his Zodiac persona, so off the wall, so weird, forgotten by most, and probably a, a good thing because I don't think he ever set the world on fire in this persona. I couldn't even really remember a whole lot uh, about this persona besides him being in the Dungeon of Doom and stuff. But once again, I love Mattel giving us these deep cut figures, things we didn't think we would probably ever get in figure form. But here we are at number four with... All right, we're at the halfway point. Make sure you put your deep cut, deep favorite gimmicks from Mattel in the comments down below. Start at number five, work your way to number one. That is the fun part of it. But number three for us today... Once again, comes from Target. This was actually sold via Target Online. A few did slip out to the stores as far as returns and things like that, but this was a Target Online exclusive. This is one of the deep cuts from my prime watching days back in the back in the day, I guess for lack of a better term. Who are we talking about? We're talking about old Terry Taylor. We're talking about the Red Rooster. Man, I love the Red Rooster. It's so funny when you're a kid, you don't have the adult eyes, obviously, but a lot of longtime wrestling fans really turned their nose down on the Red Rooster and what Terry Taylor uh, turned into here. But really, this was my first go around the sun with Terry Taylor as the Red Rooster. I didn't think anything of it. I thought there was all kinds of gimmicks. It was what it was. I enjoyed his feud with the Brooklyn Brawler and Bobby the Brain Heenan, of course. Uh, I just didn't have anything against the Red Rooster. Later on, of course, I knew Terry Taylor, you know, uh, time in WCW, things like that. He had some great matches over the TV title with the Arnie Anderson. Uh, there used to be a Chicago syndicated show uh, with like a Jack Brickhouse on Saturday mornings. I remember Terry Taylor and Arnie Anderson having many matches together on that that I really came to respect Terry Taylor as a wrestler. Uh, as a little kid, I said, wow, these are some great matches. Uh, but him against the Brooklyn Brawler was probably the height of the Red Rooster in the WWF back in the day. Talk about a character I'd love to have Mattel a lead of is the Brooklyn Brawler would be another one that I think nobody would turn their nose up at getting. Uh, but Terry Taylor in the Legends line, or not the Legends line, but all-time legend uh, gimmick-wise, uh, number three for me is this Terry Taylor figure, the Red Rooster. Even got the nice little mohawk there with painted red. Deep, deep cut. Not quite as goofy. Well, I should talk that back. A guy pretending to be a rooster, I'd say that's pretty goofy. I was going to say not as goofy as the Zodiac, but really, in all honesty, it's probably just as goofy, if not goofier. I mean, who pretends to be a rooster? I could see somebody crazy pretending to be a Zodiac killer or something like that. Uh, but the rooster, it's a pretty zany one. Uh, a little bit harder to find. I don't think this will totally break your wallet after all these years. But I remember there was a lot of Red Rooster mania at the time. Uh, a lot of people on the hunt for this guy, hoping to get it online. Uh, and I did, of course, So because it's right here on the table. So there you go. But number three for me, Red Rooster. All right, we're down to the final two. And the final two were very difficult for me. I kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Who's one, who's two? It's about as close as it can get, but I've finally settled in, and I finally settled in at number two, and who is number one. But number two is a most recent one. Probably the most recent deep cut of all that we have gotten, and one that nobody expected. And this one will, I have a very strong feeling, be in my top ten figures of 2022 who am I talking about? We're talking about the Mattel Collector's Edition Walmart exclusive, The Goon. The Goon, not the most storied gimmick of all time, an interesting one, a funny one. Uh, back when everybody had a second job, The Goon, he was a hockey player. But how cool is this as far as deep cuts go? We get a hockey stick, you get the removable gloves, you get the hockey skate boots. A lot of new tooling with this one, much like the bunny. A lot of one and done tooling. That's what we got here with the goon. A soft goods jacket, or not jacket, jersey. Just an absolutely fabulous attempt for a figure that is so deep cut, most people don't even remember the character. A uh, perfect spot for the collector's edition uh, via Walmart, of course, like I said. But a must-have figure. A lot of people don't know the goon. A lot of people don't have memory of the goon wrestling. Uh, but how cool does this look in your Mattel setup? You put it with your cavalcade of gimmicks. You put it on a little display there. Just absolutely fabulous. I love this figure. And like I said, I have a feeling this will be a top 10 figure of 2022 for me. Who are we talking about? Of course, the goon at number two. But who could beat this? Who could beat this one at number one? Well, stick around. You're going to find out. 
All right, we've come to the number one spot. Do you have your list in the comments down below? Hopefully you do. And of course, like you guys know, every single Thursday on the channel, we're doing a top 10, top five countdown depending on the week. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the old notification bell. And then of course, don't forget to follow along on Patreon, link in the description below. Uh, you too can follow along much earlier as I launch these videos sometimes weeks, months earlier on the Patreon than traditional YouTube. You get exclusive videos, bonus content, and best of all, you support the channel. But number one for me, my top five favorite Mattel deep cut characters of all time. Like I said, the goon in this one, I went back and forth, back and forth, but I had to go with this one. I got a little bit more fondness for this character than the goon. That's how it ended up winning out for me. Both figures, tremendous must-haves in your collection. But number one for me, we're going way back. Way back to the earlier days of Mattel. One of their first deep cut gimmick characters that they really came out with. Who are we talking about? We're talking about the Berserker at number one. Yes, the Berserker, John Nord. The Berserker had a few figures over the year. A very strong Jax Classic Superstar. And then a, a forgotten about, in some circles, Hasbro figure back in the day. But this Berserker... Absolutely beautiful. Super, super cool. You get a shield. I don't think ever since, I don't think we've ever got another shield. We've got a sword. Yes, a sword. We just recently got a sword with Drew McIntyre, but not this sword. Sword and shield with this one. You get a helmet that comes off, is removable. A Viking helmet. How awesome is that? You get an overlay piece. You get furry boots. Just a lot of tooling, a lot of money spent on this ancillary Berserker character. But I love it. I was a kid when the Berserker came out. I didn't think anything different. I thought it was cool. He was with Master Fuji. And I'll never forget uh, being a little kid watching, I believe it was WWE Superstars. Maybe it was Challenge, but I think it was Superstars. Him versus The Undertaker. You didn't get uh, name matches very often in Superstars back in the day. And to see him go up against The Undertaker, John Nord, a big dude. I remembered him from the AWA as well. Uh, later on, I didn't put two and two together, which is interesting, where Undertaker and me, Mark, I knew right away. I didn't realize this was John Nord right away. I don't know, a child's brain, what can you say? But when he tried to stab and murder The Undertaker in the ring, uh, Kyle couldn't believe it. He had all new respect for the Berserker. He said, these bad guys, they don't take it to that next level. Berserker, he was willing to kill somebody in front of thousands of people. Uh, so I said, yeah, I mean, this guy gets my respect right there. He's going to do whatever it takes to win. Uh, but this figure is also extremely cool for the face sculpt on this one. They got his tongue hanging out, the big bushy long hair and beard, necklace, just a lot going on with this Berserker. It is extremely underrated in the Mattel uh, figure line. I mean, we've had hundreds of Mattel figures, as you guys know. This is extremely underrated as far as all those go. Uh, a little bit of a deep cut character, but one most people do know. But with all the new tooling, all the cool new looks on this one back in the day, uh, the head scan on this just can't be beaten. That's why it came in at number one for me in my top five deep cut gimmick uh, Mattel figures of all time. But like I said, give me your list down in the comments below. Don't forget to follow along on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson, and of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Support the channel. Pick up a t-shirt. So for the top five deep cuts of all time from Mattel, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.